Welcome back to Tot Teaches Math. Hi, I'm Tot, and today we're going to solve fractions that already have the same denominator, which means they're basically ready to go. So get your pen, paper, iPad, phone, whatever you need, and let's dive right in. Now, when fractions have the same denominator, we do not touch the bottom number, okay? The denominator stays the same. So whichever number is at the bottom of the fraction is the denominator, and that stays the same. And all you have to do is add or subtract the top number, which is called the numerator. All right, so I have two examples here on the board, and I'm just going to go through the first one. Now, the first one is two-fifths plus one-fifth. As I said, we keep that bottom number, right? The only thing that we need to do is add the top numbers. So what is 2 plus 1? 2 plus 1 is 3. And so that is your answer, 3 fifths. That's for adding. Okay, we're going to move to the subtraction problem. So we have 5, 6, minus 2, 6. So remember, we're going to keep our bottom number. They're the same. And then the only thing we do is subtract the top numbers. So what is 5 take away 2? Well, 5 take away 2 is going to be 3. Now, the answer here is 3, 6. So I always um, ask you to simplify. Um, and always remember to simplify if you can. Okay? So 3 over 6 simplifies to 1 half. Why? Well, because 3 is half of 6. And that's a simple way of trying to remember remembering that. Okay? Well, that's it. Add in subtracting fractions with the same denominator is easy, especially when you know what to do. And if you learned something new today, hit that like button, subscribe, and share it with a friend. And this is Todd. And remember, math is fun, easy, and it's real. See you next time. Bye-bye.